Today, we're diving into the super expensive world of Netflix originals. From Orange is the New Black to Stranger Things, the streaming giant has released some of the most beloved and critically acclaimed series and films of the 2010s. Is there a cherished TV series that hasn't been produced by the streaming giant? But what are the most expensive series and films Netflix has ever made? And what high-cost originals ended up being huge failures? Keep watching to find out. Marco Polo, estimated budget $200 million. Historical dramas are always a big gamble in show business. And boy, did Netflix gamble spectacularly in their decision to produce Margot Polo, a high-budget retelling of the life of the famous Venetian merchant and explorer. Whilst the series was tipped to be a rival for the ever-popular HBO series Game of Thrones, the series premiere failed to live up to its expectations, with little interest from the public and bleak reviews from critics. A middling mess complete with random accents, slow story, and kung fu. Surprisingly, the show managed to battle on for two seasons before before Netflix executives finally decided to cut their losses and stop production. But how did the disaster of Marco Polo cost the streaming giant? According to Hollywood Reporter, the failure of the project resulted in an enormous $200 million loss for Netflix. Ouch! The high production costs were certainly in part to blame for cancellation. The show, filmed everywhere from Italy to Kazakhstan, and the production costs for just one season tipped the bill at $90 million. With 10 episodes per season, that comes out to $9 million per episode. Let's just hope that the next historical drama Netflix takes on proves more of the success. The Grey Man. Estimated budget, $200 million. Next up is the much-anticipated The Grey Man. Whilst the film is not officially released yet due to the COVID-related delays, The Grey Man will be one of Netflix's highest-budget productions to date, and this latest edition proves that they're here to bring in the big bucks. With Joe and Anthony Russo, the box office record-breaking duo behind Avengers Endgame, signed on as directors, Netflix are not hiding their extravagant ambitions. With Captain America himself, Chris Evans, and Ryan Reynolds in key roles, Netflix are pulling out all the stops to establish themselves amongst the Hollywood elite. Tipped as a James Bond type of spy thriller and with big hints of a franchise in the making, we might need to update this list when the inevitable sequel arrives in a couple of years' time. But with all this hype, we can only hope that it goes better than Marco Polo. Sense8 Estimated budget, $216 million. Moving back to a TV series, let's talk about Sense8, a sci-fi Netflix original series created by Lily and Lana Wachowski, the creative minds behind the cult classic film The Matrix. From the outset, Sense8 was a high-budget production. Episodes often reach over an hour in duration, and some reports suggest that the average cost of an episode was at one point a staggering $9 million. To put that in perspective, the average cost of a Game of Thrones episode was $15 million. But did the high budget of Sense8 contribute to the cancellation of this much-loved series? Some certainly don't think so. The high-profile cancellation of Sense8 in 2017 stirred up a lot of controversy and outcry amongst fans, in particular because of the Wachinskis' dedication to gender and racial representation. As the show's ensemble cast was incredibly diverse, many activists accused Netflix of ditching the LGBTQ plus friendly show to focus on promoting their more mainstream productions such as House of Cards. As one journalist wrote, the Wachowskis created a world that championed identity, gender and cultural representation and a message of acceptance. Whether it was due to the budget costs or Netflix wanted to focus on its more popular projects, since Sense8 remains one of the most expensive projects for the streaming company to date, totaling $216 million for two seasons. Stranger Things Estimated budget, $300 million. While you can see that Netflix is used to forking out big budgets for their original productions, you might be surprised to learn that the first season of Stranger Things was not allocated the budget that the creators, the Duffer Brothers, initially asked for. Whilst the show might be a super hit show, the first season was limited to $1 million per episode. For a show of a supernatural and science fiction genre, this is particularly limited. The inadequate budget might explain the slightly amateur feel present in some of the early episodes. However, co-creator Ross Duffer argued that the limited budget helped give the show an authentic, real-life feel, referring to the simplistic title sequence and lack of major visual effects. In an interview in 2016, he stated, We wanted to go back to the idea that simple can be better, as opposed to trying to one-up these huge shows or these big movies with elaborate sequences. What if we just go back to the simplicity of something that you couldn't do before you had all these effects? While some of these budget limitations might have made things more complicated during production, did it stop Stranger Things propelling to astounding success and becoming a fan favorite? Absolutely not. And with success of the first series, the budget per episode was increased to $6 million. And by season 3, each episode averaged around $8 million in production costs, totaling a hefty sum of $300 million for the show so far. What do you think? Do you prefer the authentic feel of the early episodes, or do you think that the later, high-budget episodes were better? Orange is the new black. Estimated budget 
budget, $364 million. Moving on to one of Netflix's earliest originals, Orange is the New Black was one of Netflix's first exclusive and original series, premiering in 2013 and becoming instantly popular with its subscribers. The show was widely critically acclaimed, winning four Emmys, 16 nominations, and turning its diverse cast into Hollywood superstars. Yet the show and its accolades didn't come at a small price for the streaming company. Each episode reportedly cost around $4 million for Netflix to make. But you might be wondering why the production cost was so high, especially for an ensemble cast and mostly unknown actors. It's simple. Not only did the show consist of a large recurring cast, it was also Netflix's longest running original series, finishing it with seven seasons and 91 episodes in total. For this reason, the final budget reached $364 million, one of Netflix's most expensive original productions to date. House of Cards, estimated budget $365 million. Taking a trip back even further to 2013 and the early days of Netflix's production ambitions, political thriller House of Cards proved to be a big hit for the streaming company and was its first ever platform exclusive series. By bringing in a cast of A-list actors and enlisting BAFA award-winning director David Fincher, House of Cards managed to help Netflix make a name for itself as a serious competitor in television production. But did all this come cheap? Of course not. Reportedly, the first season alone for House of Cards cost the streaming company $100 million to produce. At the time, with Netflix known as a streaming service and not a production company, the $100 million forked out for the first two seasons was a pretty huge gamble. Not just for Netflix, but the A-list actors too. The final budget was estimated to be around $365 million, around $400 million per episode. Unfortunately, whilst the series proved to be popular, the show was irreversibly affected by the scandal surrounding its lead cast member, of course, Kevin Spacey in 2017, during the height of the Me Too movement. Whilst this incredible Robin Wright took over and gave a stunning performance in Spacey's place, the show failed to recover without its loved and loathed protagonist. The final season premiered in July 2018, with executives deciding not to renew the show for a seventh season. Accumulating 56 Emmy nominations in total, we can't imagine Netflix regretting their massive gamble. Most expensive, The Crown. Estimated budget, $520 million. Coming in at number one is, can you guess? It's death a royal pain in the wallet. All right, yes, it's The Crown, which according to reports is now boasting a budget of around $520 million. To date, that comes down to a whopping $13 million per episode. The first season alone reportedly cost a mammoth $130 million to produce, which, considering the unfortunate history of Netflix and historical dramas, was a massive risk for the company to take. Yet, it comes as a surprise to no one that the budget for The Crown is so high. From the A-list actors, extravagant costumes, and beautiful set design, the production team doesn't do things by half measures. The good news is that, unlike some other big budget Netflix productions, The Crown has proved to be a hit favorite with audiences and critics alike. The recent season 4 premiere documented the torrid relationship between Princess Diana and Prince Charles even broke Netflix viewing records, with viewers watching 336 billion minutes of the show in the week following its long-awaited season premiere in November 2020. Costs can only continue to go higher, as it was recently revealed that Oscar-nominated actress Imelda Stone will be taking on the role of Queen Elizabeth II in Season 5. With fans eagerly documenting every snippet and sneak preview of the upcoming season, it's fair to say that Netflix's big-budget gamble paid off. So, what do you think about our list? Were there any Netflix series or films that you thought would be on this list but aren't? Were you surprised by the results? And if you had to choose, which of the Netflix originals listed on our video do you think is the most overrated? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more fun videos like this one sent straight to your inbox.